Hello and welcome to another edition of Bomb Chew News. My name is Chris, I'm joined by Andron, and today we'll be covering the news that we found interesting. Namco Bandai has finally revealed the Western release date for Code Vein. Code Vein has been heavily anticipated since its reveal as a hybrid title mixing elements from Dark Souls with a vampire anime. While the gameplay remains a bit vague from the trailers released so far, the story has been painted in almost too clear of a picture. The release date trailer gives a very heavy synopsis of the Code Vein story, but boils down to the main character being turned into a vampire who must defeat an evil queen whose blood corrupts anyone who drinks it. Since it is anime inspired, however, I expect there to be a few more twists and turns from there. Code Vein will be released on September 28th, 2018 for the PS4, Xbox One, and PC. EA just turned the Skate 3 servers back on. Skate 3 was the latest entry in the skateboarding franchise, and while it had a dedicated fan base, EA eventually decided to shut down servers for the game in 2016. However, fans recently noticed that the servers for the game are back up and running, with community parks, player profiles, team lobbies, and more all becoming available again for the first time in years. It's pretty unusual for EA to turn these features back on with no announcement or plans to do so. With E3 just around the corner, and with rumors of Skate 4 floating around for years, the timing seems just too perfect for this all to be just a coincidence. While nothing has been confirmed as of yet, I'd say the odds of us seeing a Skate 3 remaster or a Skate 4 announcement at E3 just got a lot better. And as a big fan of the Skate franchise, I couldn't be more excited. Bungie has revealed its major expansion for Destiny 2 named Forsaken. Like Destiny's Taken King expansion that revitalized the game, Forsaken is set to not only reinvigorate the world of Destiny 2, but change a lot of what was wrong with the game from its original launch. Story-wise, Forsaken tilts more to a western movie motif, as multiple bad guys have escaped jail and your job as a guardian is to hunt down each of the head honchos to bring order back. What current players will be more interested in, however, will be the gameplay changes. Gambit is the newest game mode that combines PvP and PvE together. Each team starts on two different sides of an arena and are tasked with killing NPCs to collect enough items to summon and then kill a mega boss. The caveat in this mode is that one team can pause progress for the other and one player from either team can evade the other side to cause even more chaos. Moving on to raids, the new raid is named the Dreaming City, which Bungie has claimed to have even more bosses than any raid before it and will bring back the level of epic adventure that the previous raids were missing. Multiple puzzles and hidden corners are within it, but there will also be some persistence as raiders will alter the face of the hidden city over time. There's no telling to what level these changes will occur however, so I take this claim with a grain of salt. To round everything out, the Forsaken expansion will have new weapons and gear such as a high-tech bow and arrow, new supers to choose from, randomized drops, a new way to pick which weapon you like to go into battle with, and what they're calling an annual pass, which is just another season pass while Forsaken is active. The guys at Bungie, at least in their video, appear to be really excited about this new expansion. My only hope is that Forsaken can make a big impact and improve the overall feel of the game for its fans. Destiny 2's Forsaken expansion is set to launch September 4th, 2018. Telltale Games has released a new trailer and a release date for The Walking Dead, the final season. The trailer shows a look at a grown-up Clementine fishing and singing a song with AJ, before she tests his knowledge on her rules of survival. The writing for the scene, although it was brief, shows promise for the last game in Clementine's story, which began back in 2012. Telltale said of the story for this game, quote, Clementine, now a fierce and capable survivor, has reached the final chapter in her journey. After years on the road facing threats both living and dead, a secluded school might be her chance for a home, but protecting it will mean sacrifice. Clem must build a life and become a leader while still watching over for AJ, an orphaned boy, and the closest thing to a family she has left. In this gripping emotional final season, you will define your relationships, fight the undead, and determine how Clementine's story ends." End quote. The trailer also gave us a release date, with the game launching on PS4, Xbox One, and PC on August 14th, with a Switch version to be released sometime later this year. While the series has had its ups and downs in terms of quality, I've been a big fan of the story they've told with Clementine so far, and I can't wait to see how it ends. Well, that's all the news that we found interesting today. Let us know what you thought about it down in the comments below, and we'll see you next time.